Hi, my name is Dr. John Diard, and today I want to talk to you about calcium. Do we need to supplement with it? Can we get enough from our diet? What does calcium actually do for us? And if we do need to supplement, what's the best kind of supplement to get? Now, it's clear that our ancient ancestors did get a lot of calcium, whether they were chewing on bones or domesticating animals and having a lot of dairy products. There was a lot of calcium in the diet above and beyond the probably already ample amount of calcium in the diet from leafy greens and root vegetables that made up the, the vast majority of our ancient ancestors diet okay so what does calcium actually do for us well we all know it, it builds bone which is of course very important it helps to buffer the acid in the stomach allows the stomach to actually produce a, a adequate amount of acid to digest the food and in turn then supports optimal weight loss it protects against post menopausal issues uh, it actually helps support healthy cell replication there's a lot of recent research on calcium support for the health of the colon cells, protecting against colon cancers. Um, and in one study, it showed that the calcium actually binds to toxic bile acids and takes that bile with all the toxins in tow to the toilet and helps protect the cells from damage, which is, of course, critically important. It helps for muscular contractions, uh, helps lower blood pressure, helps blood clotting, helps with optimal circulation, helps support uh, certain types of hormones to be produced properly. I mean, calcium is a critical, critical mineral that uh, we really cannot do without. Now, do we need to supplement with it? Well, um, no. Uh, the RDA, I think, according to lots of research, seems to have gotten this one right, that about 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of calcium per day is what we need. Now, lots of folks are getting that much in their calcium supplement, plus getting a lot more than they think they're getting in their diet. For example, just to get about 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of calcium today, all you really need to do is have some yogurt, some salmon, some cheese, beans, a couple of uh, servings of vegetables, and you're in. That's your, your daily requirement. So it doesn't actually take a lot of calcium or a lot of calcium rich foods in your diet to get to the thousand milligrams and the problems come when folks are taking supplementation plus a lot of calcium in their diet that's where we end up having too much calcium in diet so be aware of that in the article associated with this video where i have all the research and i have a whole a list of all the calcium rich foods you can go through and you can look exactly at your diet and see how much calcium you're getting and then determine if you actually need to supplement or not chances are if you've got a good healthy diet you don't need to supplement things are you're probably you're probably doing fine and you don't have to worry about it okay so the other thing is is if you do need to supplement with calcium even you, you know you need to build your bone back up then there are certain things that are absolutely required we know that vitamin d which is deficient in some studies up to 87 percent of the american population north of atlanta in the winter right so that's a lot of people that don't have enough vitamin d vitamin d takes the calcium out of your gut and puts it into your bloodstream okay and then good essential fatty acids drive the calcium into the cells. Vitamin K2, which comes from dairy products and cheese, and there's supplements for that as well, that can actually drive the calcium into the bone and activate bone-building processes in the body, which are very, very important. And then there's different types of calcium that you can get. Oyster shell and dolomite calciums generally are very, very difficult to digest. Calcium lactate, calcium citrate seem to be better. Uh, there are some that are better than others. One is called microcrystalline calcium hydroxyapatite, which is actually comes from uh, the bones of cows. And it actually has in it calcium plus trace minerals plus peptides, collagen, amino acids, growth factors. It has this whole cascade of nutrition that delivers into the bone. And, and I think what the body doesn't like is just a big, huge dose of calcium all at once. There is no calcium plant out there that we get this huge dose of calcium. When you eat plants, they have minerals and vitamins and calcium and a whole cascade of nutrition that comes at once so the body can use it sort of in a kind of cascade of all the minerals and all the vitamins all the nutrients together so that's why the uh this 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 uh micro calci calcium hydroxyapatite seems to be the most uh user-friendly and better absorbed form of calcium to build bone up along with optimal levels of vitamin d make sure you have good calcium uh, vitamin k2 in your diet and then of course you know the best thing you can't do all that unless you have a diet that's that makes sure you're getting your your optimal needs met 
from your diet. And please go to that list where you can check your diet, make sure you're not overshooting the calcium runway, and but also make darn sure you're getting enough because it's uh, critically important. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Diard. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.